to the Instagram for business training from Maple Organics. My name is Karen Clark and I'm your social media trainer. Today we're going to talk about Instagram and how it can be a powerful tool to market your Maple Organics business. Instagram is like a photo album sharing session where you get to really get to know people and build rapport by seeing a window into their world and by sharing lifestyle pictures and pictures in the moment. I'll show you a quick tour of Instagram explain a little bit about hashtags and their use, and I'll show you some apps that can help you enhance your Instagram experience. For this training, I'm gonna mostly be showing you on my smartphone from Instagram. So here we're looking at the Maple Organics corporate page. This would be somewhat what your Instagram would look like if you set one up for your business. By the way, did you know that you can have more than one account? If you choose to, you can have your personal account and that add a second account within the settings. Instagram makes it easy to switch back and forth between them. So Instagram can only be used on a smartphone. You can view things on the web, but you can't post from there. This is how it's easy for people to just take pictures on the go. You have the opportunity to add a bio and your link, and if you set it up as a business account, you can even add a contact, such as your email or your phone number. To share a picture, you're just gonna click on this little plus button at the very bottom. It'll choose from your camera roll. There's just one I took recently because I got my hair cut. And then from there, you can edit the picture with filters. Instagram is known for using filters, and you can also do all kinds of other photo editing over here. Then simply add a caption, and if you want to tag anybody, you can. If you want to add your location, you have the ability to do that. And you can also share it to your Facebook and your Twitter if you want. Let me show you around a little more on my personal profile so you can see some of the settings. Up on the top left, you'll see suggestions for people that Instagram thinks you might like to follow based on people that you are connected to who are also following them. On the top right, you'll see the little gear. That's how you get to your settings and you can adjust your Facebook connections and other things within there. You can also edit your profile to edit your bio. You get 160 characters and I like to add little emojis. It just makes it a little more interesting. And then you'll see your collection of pictures. Now over on the home button, the little house on the bottom left, you'll be able to get to the main news feed. And I wanted to point out that the, the little paper airplane on the top right is how you get to your private messages. Also, those little circles across the top, that's where people have shared Instagram stories. These are quick collections of photos and videos you might want to share throughout the day that disappear within 24 hours. Sounds kind of crazy, but people really like to check in. It's a nice way to share a lot of information throughout the day without cluttering up your whole newsfeed. So now let's talk about hashtags. The best thing to do is to click on the little spyglass at the bottom, and you'll see all kinds of suggestions for things Instagram thinks you might be interested in based on what your friends are connected to or liking or commenting on. But the search at the very top is really powerful. So let's type in the word organic. Instagram will show you different people and we wanna click on tags, that stands for hashtags. So we can see what the most popular hashtags are using the word organic within the word. So there's just hashtag organic, there's organic skincare, organic life. Let's click on organic life. Once you tap on a hashtag, you'll see suggestions for other hashtags. If your post has something to do with any of these keywords, you wanna make sure you add those. Instagram's telling you they're popular. That means that people are actually searching for those words and might be able to discover your posts. When you're creating something and you're adding hashtags, I recommend three to five, maybe 10 or 15. If you're going to add more than five, I recommend putting them in a comment on your post so it doesn't really clutter up your caption. But besides adding hashtags to your own posts so that you can be discovered, you can also use them to find other people to interact with because the protocol on Instagram is usually people will follow you back. Speaking of being followed, let's click on that spyglass again. This area is the easiest way to get discovered by new people. The more popular your post is, the more likely you'll show up here as a suggestion to others. And the key to that is to post interesting things that people will be compelled to like and comment on. So keep that in mind when you're creating your posts. Now, Instagram has a lot of built-in filters and editing capability, but there are a lot of fun apps that you can get to enhance your Instagram photos. There's different layouts you can use to create collages. Perfectly Clear is one that I like to use to just kind of enhance the skin tone or the overall cast of a picture. Widegram will add a border around your picture. Repost will let you post somebody else's Instagram picture as your own, and this might be helpful to repost the home office's posts. Pick Play Post is an app that I like to use where you can create a collage that has some pictures and some videos. 
Text on Photos allows you to add word overlays on a beautiful picture, maybe of scenery, that you can add an inspirational quote to. Hashtagger is great for finding hashtags. And one of the ones I find the most useful is this app called Instract. It's a way for you to keep track of your followers and either unfollow people who are not following you back or follow people who have followed you. It also gives you some good information about who are your most active followers and who you might want to interact with a little bit more. So as you can see, Instagram can be a lot of fun. People have a lot of fun editing their pictures and adding videos and sharing short windows into their world, like I said. It's one of the fastest growing social media sites, so I think it's important to pay attention to. This has been Instagram for Business with Maple Organics. I'm Karen Clark. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.